What is this place? Somewhere you can't hurt any pony. Wrong. I can hurt you. Stay still so I can blast you. Oh yeah, real motivating. You'll pay for that. Put it on my tab. Eternity to take my revenge on you. <laughs> Stand down, Cozy Glow. Gee, I guess I could, but I'm having too much fun. <laughs> Ready, sister? Wait, what are you? No! That's the problem with you magic types. You're so reliant on all your special power, you forget to use your brains. Keep telling yourself that. Now! Your pathetic shield can stop us. <laughs> the pillars have been defeated. Your school is abandoned. Face it, Twilight. You've lost. You can attack us, and we may fall, but Equestria will still stand, united in friendship, and we won't stop until we defeat you, no matter how many ponies you take down. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you all notice something was wrong in Equestria? We've been busy. A whisper here, a rumor there. Destroy some crops, cause some damage. Turn pony against pony. Until your whole kingdom is on edge, waiting for just one tiny thing to push them over the brink. There's no backup friends or rainbow magic to save you now. Golly, I think it's time for some redecorating. So what's stronger than friendship, Twilight? Fear! Because when you have to protect yourself, you don't have time for any pony else. Too bad you never taught that in school. But we aren't completely helpless. We'll hold them off as long as we can. That was a pretty epic makeup. Just save Equestria and keep Fluttershy safe. Why are you out in the open? Hide! Where is every pony? 
The unicorns have been gathering in Celestia's school of magic ever since the attack. That's where I was headed when I saw you. What about the Earth ponies and Pegasi? It's every pony for themselves. That ain't right. Well, you can all stand out here and debate. I'm going where I'm safe. Chrysalis was telling the truth. They really have turned ponies against each other. Every pony's scared, that's all. We just need to get to Ponyville and find Twilight pronto. She'll know how to set things right. Please, stay calm! I know it seems bad, but there's no need to panic! Give us one good reason not to! I <sighs> because Ponyville's own heroes of Equestria are here to save us! Where'd all these ponies come from? Earth ponies been pouring in, looking for somewhere safe. We don't have unicorn magic to protect us. We're a city in the sky to hide it like those cowardly Pegasi. <sighs> cowardly? They're blocking Cloudsdale. Said they didn't want any grounded ponies up in their business. Listen up, buddy. Don't. That's exactly what Chrysalis and the others want. More fighting. We know you're scared. We're here to help. Oh, you better fix this! Yeah! yeah. Twilight's probably as worried as every pony else and trying to find somewhere safe. That's why I was sure she'd be waiting for us in Ponyville. Where else could she be? I know where Twilight is! Oh, thanks, Celestia. You're all all right. She's upstairs. It's not good. You're here? I was so worried. Where are the princesses? They put up a crazy fight so we could escape and find you. Mission accomplished. Now let's save the Christmas! Yeah! They made a terrible mistake. You all did. From the second I got away, I've been searching every book, scroll, and spell for a way to rescue you and stop Chrysalis, t -Rick, and Cozy, but I haven't found anything. I failed. You'll come up with something. We can't save Equestria without you. You all escaped without my help. You didn't need me then, so why would any pony need me now? We know things look bad, but we've been in tough spots before, and we all... Look around. Nothing we've ever done has mattered. Sombra, return to destroy the Tree of Harmony. Chrysalis, T-Rex, Cozy Glow, returned and more powerful than ever. The School of Friendship, shut down. Every pony in Equestria is so blinded by fear they can't remember what friendship is. Nothing we do makes any difference. But we're still free and together. And it's not like things could get any worse. <laughs> Haven't we learned never to say that by now? Fluttershy! Run! This ferocious beast won't eat us for dinner! That's a common misconception. Have you ever tried just talking to them? That's crazy! You are on your own! She's a goner. I can't watch. We're very sorry for coming into your territory, but we're just passing through. How did you do that? Every creature likes to be listened to. You just need to take the time to understand them. You are more talented than I realize. Thanks. I'm having the best time with you all. Fluttershy must be having the worst time with Caballeron's goons. We need to catch up to them before they reach the Truth Talisman. Why? What's so special about it? It has the power to make the pony holding it tell the truth. But Caballeron only wants it because it's made of solid gold. He'll melt it down and use it to get rich. So if this talisman is so important, why didn't you already save it? You said only a Pegasus can get it, right? Yes, but the temple traps are far too dangerous to face without a map. And maybe even with one. Boss, how about we take the shortcut? How about you be quiet? I mean, no thank you, Biff. Let's just follow the map. Oh, I'm supposed to be Dr. C's second in command. He never listens to me. Well, keep trying. I believe in you. At last. Now we simply have to wait for the sun to reach its highest point. And our path will be revealed. 
Withers, don't move. before they enter the temple. Get back, Rainbow Dash! It's how we zodal. <laughs> Daring do, my old nemesis. You may have outsmarted my jungle cats, but you cannot escape me! We didn't see any cats! We're just here to rescue Fluttershy! It must be a coincidence that only a Pegasus can retrieve Tonatiu's treasure. And there are two of you here. Today, we're going to learn about the Pegasus Weather Factory. Once every pony is in their seats, the factory specializes in snow, rain, sunshine, and... <clears throat> Scootaloo, may I help you? I just noticed your erasers needed dusting. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> off on the lesson until after lunch? How about show and tell? Does any pony have any- My parents are coming home to Ponyville today! Wait, they don't live here? Nope, their jobs are way too important for that. They travel to the farthest, most dangerous places in Equestria to study unknown plants and fierce creatures. And what they learn helps pony science and medicine I'd go with them, but it's too dangerous. Once, my mom had to wing wrestle a wyvern, and my dad got trapped in a chimera's cave for three moons. He still has the scars to prove it. You're making that up. No pony has that kind of job. You were in your crate for your nap. <laughs> and that means now, mister. <gasps> Mom! Dad! Still think she's making it all up? No. -uh. Every pony, meet my parents! Snap Shutter and Maine All Good! Huh, sorry to make such an entrance. Just brought back a few mates from our last adventure. We couldn't wait another moment to see Scootaloo. I hope we didn't interrupt anything. No, I think class is dismissed. Cry! You're nearly as tall as me now, Scoot! Aw, oh, come on, Dad. Oh, Scootaloo, we missed you. Me too, Mom. Did you get all my letters? And read them 20 times, but they're never as good as the real thing. It's so good to see you. I say we celebrate with ice cream sundaes. They don't have those in the jungle, that's for sure. Why don't you all come? Our treat. Princess Twilight said we're such good friendship tutors, she might even let us teach a class! Good on you, Scoot! 
What an honor! I can give you a tour of the school if you want. I mean, if you're staying for a while this time. Oh, you'll be seeing plenty of us. Really? Mm -hmm. Because we've taken a new job assignment that will let all of us live together. I can't believe it! That's awesome! Oh, Rod Scootaloo! Woohoo! We never planned to be away for so long in the first place. We just kept discovering things that could help Equestria. And no pony else had the experience to finish our job. But with all that's happened lately, Sombra's return, the destruction of the Tree of Harmony, we decided our family should be together. This is the best day of my life! Is someone so real grumpy toward today? If we aren't meeting, I guess I could just stay and offer positive and inspiring... Fine! I'll join your meeting. Just leave. See you soon! It's been weeks and Grogar has done nothing. It's not healthy to hold on to all of this rage. I could lash out at any moment. And how are you doing this fight? How do you think I'm doing? I'm ready to exact my revenge! See what I mean? Being cooped up with nothing to do is the worst! You know what you need. A team meeting! I don't do meetings. Grogar left me in charge. No, he didn't! And even if he did, Chrysalis obeys no one. There'll be cupcakes. Grogar wants us to work together to defeat our enemies, which means we need to trust each other. If we are to trust one another, perhaps inform Lord T-Rex to stop trying to absorb my essence! I wasn't doing anything of the sort! How dare you! How dare I? Do you know to whom you are speaking? How could I not? You tell your log every five minutes. This is why Grogar left me in charge. No, he didn't! I think I know a way that we can grow. Time to try something new, something better. No more so low. Trust is the way to go. And all we need to do is work together. Ah, oh, please. No thanks, no way. I feel the need to say. I'm smarter, stronger, and I don't need you to. Ha! Stronger? Okay. I guess we'll downplay how bad you got your rear and hand it to you. It's time to try a better way to be bad. Oh, do, do we really need, need a better, better way, way to, to be bad? bad? Teamwork, please. What a fad. Combine all our strength. We'll go to any length once we have a better way to be bad. Let's go begin. This time we're gonna win. The ice you're on is thin, so watch what you say. I know you're in. I think I see a grin. For all this pain and torture, I swear you'll pay. This time. Like a long shot, there's better way to be bad. United as one, we'll make this pony so sad. If we say okay, would you just go away? Once we have a better way to be bad. We want to break their friendship, we want to make them weak. You want revenge on Starlight, you want that huge physique. So let's increase our chances by working as a team to crush our enemies to death. <laughs> I think I see a better way to be bad. Just put me in charge, make me queen, you'll be glad. No, listen to me, I'm the best of us three. Then, then you'll see, see a better, better way, way to, to be bad. bad. Wait, this is my thing, a better way to be bad. You shall do as I command, I will rule this triad. Hey, this is my song. Sorry, not any longer. A better way to be bad. Ponies be sad. That would make me so glad. Now, now we've got, got a better, better way, way to be bad. I shouldn't have taken all those desserts at once. It's just how can you say no to such a sweet idea? Oh, oh sweet! Oh, oh, I made a joke. 
in retrospect, a dragon flame and baked goods aren't the best combo. We felt like it was all our fault. Except for the apple monster. That was discord. And Mrs. Cake messing up those recipes, and Spike burning the messed up recipes, and... The point is, we all felt bad for ruining Big Mac and Sugar Bell's proposals. It was all green, and then Grandpa looked at me all dramatical and says, where no pony has gone before. And whoosh! Away we flew! Today was interesting. Yep. You okay? I... I'm sorry, Sugar Bell. I wanted everything to go right today. I wanted our love to be as perfect as my parents was when they planted these two trees together. Instead, it turned into a mess. Just like when I asked you out, just like Hearts and Hooves Day. No matter how hard I try, I always seem to mess up when it comes to you. I think you've got things backwards. What do you mean? From everything you told me about your parents, they had to deal with things a lot tougher than some burnt desserts and an apple monster. I guess that's true. This apple tree and pear tree are stronger together. They'll survive whatever comes because they don't have to do it alone. They belong together, like your parents and like us. Yep. Today was a disaster, but today was also the last day we're ever going to have to do anything apart. From here on out, we'll be together, and we'll make sure everything always works out just right. Sugar Bell, will you? you? No, sorry. I'm sorry. On three. Sure. One. Two. Will, will you, you marry me? me? Yep. yep. Wow. We'll have to thank our friends for messing up so bad that they made it all work out perfectly. Wow. We've all made up, and we're here for a do-over, and this time, thanks to me, we've got it right. So why don't you two, you know... Uh, I think they did okay without us. And that's how we were responsible for the perfect proposal! <laughs> or should I say, pear -posal. If we hadn't messed up so bad, it wouldn't have worked out the way it did! It's just like baking. Sometimes it's the mistakes that help you discover something truly special. And when all the planning and grand gestures go wrong, it reminds you the most romantic things are usually the simplest. Which is what I knew all along. You're welcome. It is my sincere pleasure to say, for my second Apple family wedding, that I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> That's your cue. Happy marriage, happy apples, happy marriage. Discord. Oh, just let me have this one. Happy marriage, happy apples, happy marriage, happy apples. One day, you'll see. I will defeat Twilight Sparkle and her friends, and they will pay for stealing my kingdom. Psst, t Rex. It is Lord T Rex. And what is it now? I just want to make sure you can see my best friend's rock sculpture from over there. It. Chrysalis, queen of the changelings, or at least I will be, when I'm restored to my rightful place. Why did you summon me? 
what you want. Ah! Oh, golly. We didn't bring you. I thought you freed us from Tartarus. Tartarus? Whoever pulled you from there must have been some pony very powerful indeed. <laughs> Sombra, you have returned. Why did you bring us here? He didn't. It was I. You may call me Grogar. <gasps> the Grogar? I thought that you were a legend. I've heard of you. Who? I assure you. I am very real, and you have all been brought here as part of my plan to rid Equestria of Twilight Sparkle and her friends once and for all. <laughs> I have been away too long if my name no longer strikes fear into the heart of one so tiny. Perhaps a demonstration of power is in order? Groga is ancient and extremely powerful. The land that would become Equestria was a mere collection of farms and pastures until he declared himself emperor of all he saw. I remember hearing tales of his tyranny when I was young. I have also heard of the first emperor of Equestria, the father of monsters. I gave life to the foulest of creatures and allowed them to run wild, taking what they wanted and destroying the rest. My reign was a glorious, fear-soaked epoch of darkness in Equestria. Ha! Until Gusty the Great rose up and banished you. Made it! Of course we did! We're grown-up ponies now! We can do anything! And all those worries Twilight and the others had don't apply anymore! Because we're big! And being big is all it takes! Woke up this morning feeling tired and small Too many snacks. 
Uh, this doesn't look like Appaloosa. That's because it isn't. You all heard that, right? Uh, hello? Do you think we got on the wrong train? I thought trains just took you where you wanted to go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to laugh. But you three must not travel much. This is Haysi Junction. The train to Appaloosa isn't for a few hours. Or you could set off on hoof. It's treacherous and confusing, unfit for the young or timid. <laughs> yeah, but you three are grown-ups. You'll be fine. Yeah, I'll write down some directions. Maybe we should wait for the train. And miss the fair? We already ended up in the wrong place, which is exactly what we were warned about. And what if we can't follow the directions? Come on. We didn't come all this way for nothing. Besides, I've been through a swamp as a young pony. As a grown-up, it'll be a snail. Grown-ups always know the way. Because being big is all it takes. <laughs> Sorry, I've got kind of a throat thing.